Hi everyone, I'm Alice Ford and this is Nature News, your weekly updates on science, nature, and the environment for the week of August 7th. If you're new here, make sure you give this channel a follow and hit that little thumbs up button. The United States is among the top 10 deadliest countries for pollution-related fatalities, according to a new global study which also warned that vested interests and political infrastructures are making it hard for residents to see the problem. Toxic air, water, land, and workplaces killed over 8.3 million people in 2017 around the world. This accounted for more than 15% of all premature deaths. And the biggest burden of these deaths? Well, they fall on low and middle income areas, people of color, and indigenous communities. The U.S. alone had almost 200,000 deaths in 2017 and was the richest developed nation on this top 10 list. Last week, a key environmental review was released by the Army Corps of Engineers for the controversial Pebble Mine, which is located in the Bristol Bay area of Alaska. This is a headwaters for salmon fisheries and lots of species. This review concluded that the mine would not harm salmon fisheries, but locals, politicians on both sides, and environmentalists don't agree, and they've been taking to social media to outwardly oppose the mine. Right now, it could be up to President Trump to say which way or another this goes, but it seems like there's partisan support on both sides for this not to happen. If you've been to New Mexico, you may have heard of Chaco Canyon, which was a sacred home to Native Americans for centuries, and the fight to exploit it for oil and gas has been long and challenging. Unfortunately, President Trump is seizing the opportunity created by this pandemic right now to actually fast track the approval of more fracking and drilling in the greater Chaco region. This plan could add upwards of 3,000 new oil and gas wells, and previous wells have been built over important ancestral roads and migration routes that are sacred to Chaco culture and located also within a national historic park. I've had the pleasure of visiting this place and it is magnificent. Have you heard of the Alexander Archipelago wolves? I know I hadn't, but they are a subspecies of gray wolf and they live on Prince Wales Island in Southeast Alaska. This past winter, more than 165 individuals were killed over just a two month period. And the last estimate of their population put them only at 170, which means their extinction could be looming very closely. If you want to help get these wolves on the endangered species list, you can write an email today to Fish and Wildlife, urging them to add them to the list. On Wednesday, the EPA gave power plant owners more leniency on dumping coal ash into unlined ponds. Heavy metals can actually leach into groundwater in occurrences just like this, polluting nearby drinking water with lead and other toxins and heavy metals. There are actually more than 700 of these coal ash ponds across the country. And more than 90% of all coal-fired power plants here in the U.S. actually have unsafe groundwater levels of heavy metals. So if you live near a coal plant or an unlined pond, you may want to get a home water filter. You will also want to check your drinking water for the existence of heavy metals. I've always wondered why protecting nature is so dangerous. Just last year, 212 environmental campaigners and land defenders were killed as they sought to protect their territories from incursions by mining interests, agribusinesses, timber companies, and oil and gas corporations. This is according to an international watchdog group called Global Witness. And more than 40% of these deaths were actually from indigenous communities. The countries with the most killings were Colombia and the Philippines, and more than two thirds of these took place in Latin America. China has been getting a lot of flack lately and right now there are a couple more things that need to be on your radar too. Just a few days ago, a fleet of about 260 Chinese fishing boats were discovered off the coast of the Galapagos Islands. This has made many people across the world worried that they're there to catch or harm precious protected marine life. They're sitting right on the edge of a protected zone, and back in 2017, they actually made their way into the marine sanctuary to catch illegal fish. The Ecuadorian Navy has been deployed to that area in hopes of keeping an eye on them. The Chinese have also put their sights on another endangered species. Having wiped out almost the entire global tiger population over the last several decades, the Chinese now are turning to poaching South America's jaguars for their trinkets, jewelry, and traditional Chinese medicine ingredients. 
Did you know bats are one of the most important pollinators? Well, many species here in North America and around the world have been decimated by a disease called white nose syndrome, which basically kills bats in their sleep. This has landed three of these species on the endangered species list, and a new Pennsylvania plan hopes to set aside 4 million acres of forest to help aid in their recovery. This plan is open for public comment right now over the next few weeks, so if you want to help out bats, you can head over to that website in the description and add your name. Are you visiting a national park or wilderness area in the near future? Then make sure you slow down and pay attention. Four bears were just hit by cars in Yosemite National Park, two of them fatally by people exceeding the speed limit. And actually over the last 20 years, more than 400 bears have been hit in just this park alone. So slow down and look out for wildlife. A preliminary permit to construct a hydropower dam on the Little Colorado River near the Grand Canyon is under fire today, as several conservation groups are intervening in this proposal that would harm endangered species, sacred sites, and a depleted, and an already depleted damaged aquifer. The proposal by Pumped Hydro wants to construct four hydropower dams along the river, which is a critical habitat for the endangered humpback chub and the sole water source for the Navajo Nation. This one is for all those dinosaur enthusiasts out there. Scientists actually just made the first ever diagnosis of malignant bone cancer in a dinosaur fossil, proving that cancer has been around long before the existence of humans. I've also got some recommended reading for you this week with a book called the Habit of Seeing, Journeys in Natural Science. This is by Sarah Jesselson, and there's a link below if you want to check it out. That's all for this week. Don't forget to give this video a like, share with a friend, and leave me a comment. I'll see you next week.